I'm so excited for you guys and I wish you nothing but the best of times and lots of love and I can't wait to see what is all in store for you. It was the end of December. Oh. Macy and Gabe, I have been a part of your relationship since the very beginning and I've watched you guys grow into the most beautiful and flourishing couple I've ever seen. I am so happy for you for today and all of the days in the future. I love you both so much and I can't wait to see the beautiful life that you two have. Love you, Macy and Gabe. I've known you guys for years now and I've been looking forward to this day ever since the day I met you. So congratulations and I'm wishing, wishing you well. Here's the Greek. It's going in. Macy and Gabe, I can't wait to um, just partner with you and walk with you as you celebrate this time of becoming a uh, husband and wife. I am so excited that we both made it back to Tulsa to start our life together. Um, we love you and we're praying for you. Um, and let's party. of luck. I love y'all so, so, so much and I can't imagine life without y'all um, and I just wish y'all the merry life. Gabe Macy, very proud of you guys, excited for the future and I love you guys. Gabe Macy, uh, thanks for being a part of your big day. Uh, I'm excited for you guys and your future. Macy, I know you'll never get better than your eighth grade formal date, but I'm happy for you guys. Congratulations. I'm so excited to stay at your house. I love you both so much. so happy you guys are getting married uh, I wish you guys nothing but happiness and joy and I want to thank you for accepting me accepting me <laughs> for who I am because I know that's kind of hard so thank you love you guys oh my god okay well we love you and I hope that your marriage is wonderful and that Gabe tries to learn to kill spiders but we love you Yogi loves you we're so happy for you <laughs> We just wanted to wish you a lovely marriage and we hope you enjoy our surprise. I know that Mags is truly Macy, your best friend in the whole world, and I know it was really hard for you when this whole process happened and you decided that Mags can be your maid of honor. So for me, I wanted to do something special for you and I wanted to include her in my speech. So I hope you enjoyed today's surprise tomorrow and we're pretty shocked that she came up and finished the speech. Bye, we love you. Hi, Macy and Gabe. I'm so excited for you guys. I have been so we've been looking forward to this day for I don't even know how many decades now, but it is finally here, and I'm so glad that you two found each other and that he makes you laugh like you do. You have all the fun that you do. I've literally been waiting on this day for so long. I'm so excited to share it with you. Be here on your special day. I love you both so very much. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. We love you guys. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.
You don't want to try a different one? You want just veggies? Me? I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, thank you for coming out to celebrate and spending this time with us uh, before louder? <laughs> before tomorrow! <laughs> thank you so much! We love all of you. Um, if you, anyone would like to say anything, uh, we'll open the floor up. Um, we'll talk anyone except for Bogey. Um, but if anyone other than Bogey wants to say anything, we should... What? No, thank you all for coming. We love you all. I just wanted to say how excited I am for Macy and Gabe. And me and Macy have known each other since we were little kids running around and we spent hours playing house and planning our futures and ha creating fake husbands and having like 20 kids with our baby dolls, not to scare you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's just really surreal to be here taking part in an actual wedding and seeing all of our dreams for your future come true and I can't wait to watch the rest of them. And I'm so excited for you guys and I love you so much. I'm very happy to be here tonight for Macy and Gabe. Uh, <clears throat> one of my fondest memories of Gabe, we were uh, <laughs> freshman year. We were in uh, Coach Campbell's class actually. And uh, I had asked him for help on a test because I didn't know any of the answers. And he screamed really loud, stop looking at my test. And I got a zero on that test. <laughs> But I'm happy for you guys. Um, very thankful of being in your guys' life. And uh, I wish you guys nothing but happiness and joy in your future. Love you both. Thank everyone for joining us. And uh, <laughs> I'm just super excited for you guys. And I will talk more tomorrow. I just have to hold the emotions in right now. So I right, love you both. Opening up the floor to a lot of people to say nice things about you. That was pretty good. Thank yeah. you. I didn't say nice things, I said say anything. <laughs> Gabe is the so I'm Bogan F, I'm one of his older brothers. Gabe's the youngest of six. And it is a miracle of some sort that he's somewhat normal. Probably a tribute to some of a lot of that to Macy since he's done so long. But yeah. he out of your head. used to make Gabe run into walls. <laughs> we used to use I don't know what I'm trying to think of all the stuff we used to do to Gabe. Elliot and our two older brothers would just try to see who could get Gabe to do basically the worst thing. And so I just want to say despite all that, due to our parents overcoming our terrible and Macy our terrible brother, but I really am proud of the man that you become. Um, you really have grown up a ton just from it's hard to Imagine how much you've grown up from just a little kid I knew you as, so I respect you as a man. Um, I'm excited for you both. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys as a married couple and just the, the things you guys will do together. So, look forward to tomorrow. But I guarantee we love each, everybody. And we love having a good time. We appreciate the fellowship. We're glad that you guys we appreciate Mr. and Mrs. Neff hospitality with the pizza and stuff. And it's just overwhelming to see all you young people uh, having such a good time and getting along so well together and the way you intertwine is, it makes it makes my heart for another man feel good. Uh, this this country has it, got a lot of problems going on, but as long as, as there's people like you out there that are straight shooters, straight thinkers. Uh, I think the world's going to be all right. We just got to go through some problems, and that's what they're out there for, and we just get through them. Have a loving heart, and uh, just uh, keep your faith strong. And uh, I, if I start talking about that little girl and that young man, I'm probably going to get teared up before I even have to start tomorrow. <clears throat> but I love you too. You two are a great example of love and uh, the fellowship and the fun that you guys have together as a couple. It means a lot and uh, I wish you nothing but happiness. I wish you a safe home and a beautiful home and happiness within that home. And uh, in this day and time, that's, that's something you gotta work at every day. You just work for it and you'll earn, you, you, know, you know, you you don't earn things. If you work for it, God will provide 
all them other blessings will just be bestowed upon you that you can't even, you, uh, that swimming pool won't hold all the blessings he'll give you. And that goes for everybody here. I mean, just have a, have a beautiful heart. I love all of you. I'm so appreciative that you all showed out for this time tonight. Thank God we didn't have another 50. <laughs> Macy got her car and I was still a fetus. I moved off of all the rides. We went everywhere together after school. Sonic. And yes, Sonic for sure. Well, we went trash cans this time. Then I thought it was a good idea that like, while going two miles an hour that I could get out of the car and still walk. Like function, like you just hop right out and just like keep on going. Like I had not yeah. So I didn't and I tripped we for literally only going two miles an hour until the door has stepped my foot out and I was like absolutely in zero seconds like on the ground. <laughs> flat. Like it was like foot to head to concrete and then just, I looked up and Penny still driving down the road. <laughs> Little PT Kurt, I was like so, here I am. You made it. Oh, she's fine. Cool. Cool. Just fell in the car. She's fine. Fine. The car. Thank the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and he was the best gal. I miss her dearly. <laughs> Driving to see dad because they see him work. Like, listen, it was good times. And then, it's probably because I jumped out of her. <laughs> Either way, I've been around for a while. I'm just so happy to see you two. Jim, 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 just want to thank you and Patty for opening up your house, welcoming everybody in. Okay. Okay. I want to just give you a little history here. This is my dear friend Greg Ferguson. If you'll stand up, please. And his wife, Diane. And uh, Greg and I were uh, freshman football players together at OSU, and then we were running buddies. And uh, during that college time, got a little crazy, a little wild sometimes. And uh, on the back side of that, the next decade, Greg rededicated his life to Jesus and worked on me and led me back to Jesus. And uh, so when when Kathy gave birth to Gabriel, she told me I could name him. And so I named him Gabriel Ferguson Neff after Greg and the influence he had on my life. So I just, I just wanted to share that story with you all. Closest in age to Gabe, as far as brothers go, um, which allowed me the opportunity to uh, spend a lot of time with Gabe growing up. I uh, played on a lot of teams together, did a lot of things together. Um, so it just kind of naturally, you know, it gave me an opportunity to get to know Gabe uh, and watch him change and grow through the years. And uh, I know that Gabe is somebody that has a lot of love to offer a lot of people. And uh, I can't think of somebody more deserving than. Macy and uh, I'm really really excited for you guys to you know take that step and, and, and move into that, that that next chapter of your life and what that'll look like and I'm excited to keep watching you grow and keep watching all that love you have to offer so I have a lot of funny stories too but we'll save that you know for maybe later you know, I don't know. Just forever yeah we'll save him forever yeah. that's all I had that's all I got <laughs> Inseparable ever since. We're two days apart with our birthdays. So every single year we have birthday parties together. Like all of my like major firsts in life like involved Macy. So like whenever she started dating Gabe, like it was one of those things like we just knew. Like it was just there was no other option after that. Like it was just, she was going to marry Gabe. So like I am so excited. I'm also trying not to cry right now. Like to, this, to finally be at this like place, something we've like, like Hannah was saying, we've like talked about and planned this for so long. And I'm happy for you. I love you. And I got more stuff to say tomorrow. And I'm crying now. So. <laughs> Macy was one of my true friends whenever I got to college. Even though I got there a year before her, but she was one of my like true friends that I actually was able to like make at college. And so just from all the time we spent together and just everything, I'm just, I'm so, 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 so excited to be able to 
be here with you and do this with you and just live this life because if you're a very special person to have Macy in your life and so um, I know all of us feel way blessed to even have her a part of our friendship group or part of our family and um, I'm so excited to have that able to be able to carry that on into my family so that my kids one day will be able to know Macy and Gabe and just be able to be friends forever. So. Yeah. Yeah. At, at Cole and I's wedding, we gave Gabe a long heads up that he would have a best man speech. And then the night before, at our rehearsal dinner, I said, you good for the speech tomorrow? He was like, I got it. I got it. Off the dome. <laughs> and then, after some beautiful heartfelt speeches, we handed him the microphone, and he goes, in the microphone to everybody. Ah! 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 And then it's just like silent for like five minutes. Just kind of looking at everybody like, are you gonna tell me what to say? Are you gonna tell me what to say? And then proceeds to say, Cole used to beat me up as a kid. Like really bad. <laughs> Tell the story about when Cole wrongfully beat him up, like pretty bad, no. when they were like 12 or 13. It was right. It was right. And then a little precursor to before that speech. I have always, Gabe is like not the touchy feely type, but I, if you know me, I am. And so I'll always hug Gabe and tell him, I just love you so much, and he's like, please. And so he was like, if you'll just chill out at your wedding, I'll tell you I love you. And then I don't know if I'll ever say it again, but I'll say it then and whatever. So then he goes, I promised I'll never say this again, but Mallory, I love you, thanks. And then just drops the mic and walks off. So I don't want that to be forgotten ever because he told me he loved me. So just saying, but that being said, Marrying into the Neff family is like marrying into a group of best friends that give each other a hard time and mess with each other like nothing's off limits. Like it's just a different kind of situation. But at the same time, like you're never gonna move furniture without having them there. Like you're never gonna have kids and not have their help 24 seven. Like you're not even gonna get sick and not have one of the Neff family members taking care of you. Um, you'll never have a family meal where Kathy won't make sure that your favorite dessert is made. Like, it's just a different kind of experience. And Mace, it's felt like you have been a part of the Neff family like longer than I have. And I've been around a while, so it just, I am, don't call me old girl. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have felt like we have been sisters for so much longer. And you can say sister-in-law or whatever, but we're sisters and tomorrow it's gonna be official and I'm so excited and Gabe, I love you. I don't know if I'll ever say it again, but I love you. And Macy, I love you and I'll say it all the time. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Thank you, thank you everyone for that. Thank you all for coming. Um, again, we're very thankful and grateful to all of you. We all played a large part in our lives except for Bogey. Uh, and we just thank you all so much. Uh, Amanda, thank you. But thank you all for coming. I don't know what else to say. I'm not good at speeches. No, Just thank you. Hey, there's more pizza. There's buffalo pizza. There's cheesecake inside. Don't eat all of it. I haven't had one yet. But there's food. Just hang out. And thank you all for coming. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no.